Amigos, what's up? Welcome to one of our best homes that we have. We have been here also five years. It used to look like the neighbor on the right, but we've been here five years. Before, it didn't have anything. It had lava rock, it had weeds. It looked worse than the neighborhood. You know, it was one of the ugliest houses. But today, it really stands at one of the prettiest houses out there. You know, you can see all the blooming. We got rid of all the roses at the after picture. It was just too much. It was time and they were already starting to fade out. So we went ahead and changed it and weed whacked everything. But check out a little video of us weed whacking and we'll go from there. Thank you. All right guys, so you see me here trimming. We have to trim it twice. We have to go and get the line straight first. Then we have to come back and taper all the edges. So it's just like a haircut for our lawns, man. We have to make sure we do it twice. It's hard business out here. There's many competitors. And as you see, some of the lawns don't even have lawns. So when we do do grass, it's because we're doing it for the right price. If not, we'd rather not do it. We'd rather wait for the cleanup. Since there's so much competition, there's plenty of gardeners out there that don't have time for the things that we do. So that's how it works. You know, we don't have time to waste around for granny yards, but we do have time to go and hit up some of the biggest cleanups that you guys see in our videos. So thank you for watching. And here's another clip of me trimming a little faster. And Okay, so we're back here's our Honda there's our truck we only need about three tools today man we do about eight yards and we know a couple cleanups that we do so yards for us aren't very important they're too small out here and for me to do a, more than a hundred yards I'm not gonna get any money out of it so we go ahead and start doing the landscaping that you see the big cleanups are actually the best you know landscaping still takes a lot of hard work hiring people but when we do cleanups me and Paola could get it done we make the biggest profit then and nothing's in our way you know the only time the only thing that's in our way is the sunset other than that we would keep working so the more money we make the better for us and like we say we move money from one business to another and then we bring it back so look at this nice house it looks great and we're very proud and we're very happy that the customer still waters and thank you so much for having us along so many years so you saw a small area that I missed weed whacking the rose bush had overgrown it and that's what sometimes affects us but this certain customer has given us we have washed his cars we have washed his work trucks we have washed many things remember we have a car wash business we have a vending business and we have a lawn care business we're two years in the car wash seven years into the lawn care and this is our first year in vending and they're all doing okay so thanks for watching and watch a couple of our other videos and our other businesses all right guys so here's a cleanup we did today in Tehachapi we were able to mow the lawn for her do the weed whacking again throw some pre-emergent with her fertilizing canister that she had which worked great so stay up for the progression of the backyard thanks all right guys so this is the backyard this is what it looked like when we got there some areas were taller some areas were smaller there was weeds she wanted us to move the firewood from the place there to the right and restack it for her we had to clean around the tree wells to make sure that some of these weeds that were huge we were able to weed whack them you know we came back here and planted four trees for her so she wanted us to restake them at the end and clean all the tree wells from here lift up some of the branches so you're able to look underneath and see what it looks like we took out that stump about four months ago from this area here we replanted it and then we're gonna make some stairs in the future there so we'll look at a part of that later so we come by we whack all these areas take care of the tree wells like I tell you make sure that they're nice and clean and we'll go from there you know so different things that we get done out here 
and different things that we do to make it look nice. Uh, you already pulled some of the weeds here. We pulled some of the closest ones and weed whack all around. See right here, I hadn't pulled them yet. So we pull and then weed whack. And then here, we just weed whack all of them. It's not an, it's already an established tree. So this is an old nursery that they had here. We're gonna have to break it down and clean all these weeds behind it and just clean this area a little. The good thing about this house is that we can just weed whack and leave everything there. It's good for us, but it doesn't look as clean as most of our jobs always look. So let's look at what it looks like now. All right guys, so there you have it. We weed whacked everything lightly. We didn't pick anything up. We didn't even blow it as good. We were able to get all this wood out the way and the bigger weeds, we were able to pull them. We were able to clean all the tree wells underneath. We just weed whacked this areas here and we blow everything back into it. She says she wants all the weeds to take over the yard and she's just gonna water weeds. We have a couple customers that do that. You know, they don't, they know that if they put grass, it'll just overpower with weeds within years because of the area they live in. So some customers just choose to take care of weeds you see this a lot in the east coast i see a lot of houses that it's not really grass that they're cutting they're just cutting a bunch of weeds but when it rains a lot that's what happens and remember i always talk about extra rain in california this year but look at now this is the end of the season you know everything looks dry around only the people that water she waters so you can see the tree wells are full of weeds you know and that's all you do here we just weed whack blow the areas around we were able to fix the trees and stake them with some of the pieces of wood that she had there you you know they're not the perfect stakes but they're gonna help and they're gonna make sure that the stay that the trees stay straight for the winter and that's it look at this area here the nursery is gone we fitted in jenna we took a load for her we were able to clean everything up look at the back side everything nice and clean again and it's not wild she does her own gardening so she can handle it for a few months until it's all overgrown she'll call us again so we're very thankful for her and now we come up here where i told you i spread it some pre-emergent you can see that extra yellow granules it's pre-emergent i was able to do everything out here we established the line of the trimming look for the sprinklers go around this nice tree ring and just pick things up you know we were um a lot of you guys know we have the car wash business we washed this truck for her a long time ago and we did the detail inside so that was great for us we were able to come back and be her gardeners after so that was cool from car wash to gardening all right thank you for everybody that watches our videos we're almost at 300 subscribers thanks to all please keep subscribing liking commenting and we'll be sure to we'll comment right back any questions anything we can do to help even at your own home here we are to help or we can direct you to the right person that might know a little more so thanks again for watching our channel atrocities upon cities where you see our vending business lawn care and car wash till next time